so we've got our shoe delivery it is over here yeah where is it and i'm gonna open it now it's just a few um it's mostly just christmas stuff okay let's open the box what's in the box the shoe and stuff so you don't know what kind you just know it's shoe i know what kind of shoe Mostly Christmas stuff, like I said, yeah. Huh? Mostly Christmas stuff. Okay, so this is just a um, little ornament to put on the table. Or you can hang it on the tree, depending on you want it. And then I was hoping that this basket was a little bit bigger, but it is so small, so I'm not going to actually use it for the purpose that I bought this for. I want it to bake bread or buy it like pet cook and put it in this basket you know but it's too small so that's not gonna work so i can maybe just keep like put sweets or whatever in here just use this as a normal basket and then for this i also ordered this is where the snowman is sitting with the basket so you can also put some sweets or whatever that's also for the table and then this i'm going to replace the um, sign that says but first coffee i'm going to take that off and replace that with baked fresh daily from the north pole see so we're going to put some christmas cookies there it says baked and it's coming from the north pole i'm going to take that for a coffee sign off because for a while we're going to convert it into a christmas Thank you. And then I bought a sock. It's actually very small, but it's fine. I bought a sock for me and for Sean and for Leah. So each sock will have our initial on. So this is Sean's one and it says J. And this is the sock that's gonna hang by the mantle. So this is J for Sean. Where's the others now? This is R for now. You can't see the R now, but it looks just like Sean's one. And then there should be one more. And here it is. And this is L for Leah. So each one has got a sock. And this is going to be the sock that's going to be hanging above the mantle. And M? O. Embryo. Embryo don't start with M. <laughs> Then I also bought a tray, just a normal red tray. We're still sticking to the theme of Christmas. So this tray, I'm gonna see if I can put it on that table and have some cookies and things displayed on this tray. And then I bought, you know, like a Christmas, I mean, the kitchen mittens and things like that in red. That is very Christmas. So that will go nicely with the red apron that I already have. And then I bought an oversized top that I want to wear. Just as you see. Oh, this is so cute. It says North Pole Brewery Company Christmas Spirit. Spirit Premium. So it looks like I'm working for all the Christmas when I wear this. This I can just wear with like white tights or whatever during the Christmas season.
Oh, this is just a set of things that I can place on the table as well. For instance, like gingerbread baking. So I can just like place it at certain spots on the table. This is this one says official cookie tester. This is just like trees and stars. And this one says baked with love. This one is a picture of a house. And so you'll just put this randomly like on the table. There's like little props on the table. And then this I bought, but it's not the size that I wanted. So this looks like those popcorn sizes, you know, those little cartons where you put your popcorn in. This is looks like that size. I was looking for a bigger size where I can could put in my vegetables for the veggie draw. This is not gonna work. This might work for something else, but not for this one. And then this is oh so this is protective covers for the food so when i make my tarts and my food and i put it out on the table just to protect from flies and things so you you just open this up and you put it over the plate this is fake snow that i bought that i'm just gonna scatter around the tree on the table or whatever oh two packets of fake snow This is tablecloth. No, is it a tablecloth? A tablecloth, another tablecloth. So now we're sitting with three tablecloths. But this one looks nice because it's got like the. It's almost like a banner, or you can use it as a banner as well. No, it doesn't have to necessarily be a tablecloth. You can put it there. Huh? In front of the... Yeah. No, but my socks must hang there. And then... This... Oh, looks very small. Huh? I thought this was... Oh, everything that I bought that came in this box is smaller than what I thought it was. I thought this was going to be bigger. Because this initially is where I wanted to put in, like... I thought it was going to be bigger, like a tray size. Where I wanted to put in, like pies and things like that and they have this cover over it to protect it from but this is so small what can I put in here? Oh, okay. Very small but okay we have to see what we can do with that. And then last but not least what is in this box? And then I put this. And this is I the last go. Uh, you know, man, something is not a right idea. Oh, maybe it must be turned around like this. Doesn't this go down also? Okay, Jean fixed it. So there you go. This is how it must look. This is gonna go on the table. And. What table is it? This table. The small table. Yes. <laughs> Sean saying about a million things that must go on this table. So this is just gonna house small things, you know, on the table. So you can put some things here at the top, put some things at the bottom, da 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 da. But I'm done now with my sh Christmas shopping. The next shopping is we need to buy the tree. Because it's no use me buying all these things when we don't get a nice tree. So we must we go gonna put the tree? out and get a nice pine tree. A real tree? You know, that was a thing in our tradition. When I was growing up, every year you cut a fresh tree and you go early to find the biggest tree to cut. A pine, a pine tree. But nowadays people are too lazy 
They don't want to go looking for trees, so they just go and buy the shop of fake trees. Okay. So that one lasts long, can you use it every year? Oh, guys, we just got our first delivery from Fairfield Meat Center. This is our meat for the month that we've ordered from them laying over here. I thought let me do an unboxing with you guys, go through each item and show you guys how much they charge. Their delivery is free if you spend more than 1,500, I think. So our purchase came to more than 1,500, so we got free delivery. And we also got a free gift, which is a three pack of Dania beef sausage. I love Dania. And I'm always looking for Dania sausage everywhere. Like I can never find it in our shops here in our area. And so when I saw that Dania, I was like, I need, I need enough so I put Dania sausage, Dania burgers. And the meat is also halal, so. Yeah, so we bought some lamb chicken. I'm gonna run through it and show you guys our monthly meat shopping. So this is what we have. The only thing that I don't like is they, they don't put stickers on, so I don't know what this is. And I don't know what that is, and I don't know what this is, because there's no stickers on, so this is what, this is what. But, okay. And there's the lamb. See the lamb back? Yes, it's got a sticker on. We know it's lamb. But the other things don't have stickers on. So, I don't know now, but let's see. Okay, so I have managed to actually label the items now because a lot of the things came without labels, without names. So if I want to cook or I miss for this and I go to the fridge now, I must now think which pack is what, what is Daniel sausage, what is. So I had to label it. So let me show you guys what I bought. So I'm going to start with these ones first. This is one Freddy's Legacy Burgers. And uh, so there's no price on here. There's at least um, a label on. So I know this is that. This was $35.99 and it's for four burgers. And then we also bought salami. This is a 500 gram and this was $63.99 for this pack. So I bought a pack of rations. This is a 1kg pack of rations and this was $63.99. No, sorry, $59.99 for the rations. See, there's my label. <laughs> I just used the cricket. Oh, I wasn't pressed to on this. Okay, and then... Then we bought a pack of spiced beef, it's a 500 gram pack, and this is 99 rand. This is 100 rand for this pack. 500 gram of spiced beef. This is a 1 kg penne bologna pack, and this was 54.95, which I think is a bargain. There's a lot of penne bologna in here. I haven't had penne bologna in the last time. I'm excited for this. I haven't had this in a long time. I'm very excited for this and for the spiced beef. I'm actually going to help myself to some spiced beef now. This on bread with mayonnaise. Mm. Okay, so. And then we also got free Dania beef sausage. So we got 500 gram of Dania sausage free. And then I bought one extra pack. So now we've got two packs of Dania sausage and this goes for $49.95 a pack of Dania sausage 500 gram. Okay. We bought a pack of mutton sausage 1 kg and this was $78.22. Why is the prices like that? $78.22. This is Dania beef burgers. This is also 1 kg, 94.95, 95 rand. Then lean beef mince, 1 kg, was 100 rand. Two of these, two lean beef mince. Then I also bought savory mince, 1 kg, 89.95, savory mince. And then last but not least, we bought the Oak Kral Griller. This seems to be a favorite on the website. That's why I bought this. This is the Oak Kral Griller. 
45 rand, 14 piece back. Okay, so that is that. I'm going to put these away in the fridge, not this fridge, in the other fridge. And then I'll come back and I'll cover the rest of the meat and I'll package it as well. Okay, and then with regards to the meat, we bought chicken portions per kilo. So it was $59.95 a kilo and I bought four packs. So there's four packs in here that is already pre-packed so I don't have to pre-pack these ones. So these ones are going to go straight into the fridge. This is our lamb for the month. This one, 99 rand a kilo. So yeah. These ones I'm going to package into smaller packs and I'm going to freeze them because I see we still have a few packets left from last month. So what we do is when we put buy it we put it into the second fridge so whatever's in the first fridge must be eaten first before we can go to the second fridge unless we've run short in the first fridge like there's now lamb so this is not going to go into the first fridge it's going to go into the second fridge so when we run out of lamb in the first fridge i'll just go and get some more from the second fridge that way we get the first in first out so that it doesn't get a chance to go off okay so there's a pack, pack of four, one, two, three, four, five, right? Another pack, I'm just gonna check these packs. A pack like this I leave, because this is for stew. So I leave this, this is perfect for stew. Um, this pack like that. And there is this, let me just pack it out so that I can just assess with the eye how many pieces is it in the pack. Bags, these bags, it comes in clutch, comes in handy, like I use it on a regular basis. Even now, one of the packs that we've got wasn't sealed properly, so I just put it in one of these bags. I touch you meat with my bare hands, so I just do this. See you watching me when we're with our friends. It's definitely something in the air. So let's take it from there, cause I know you want it. Then I'm going to run through that big pack and I'm going to put it making also in smaller packs. So you know when you make a pot, you take one of these bags and you use that for a pot. That's how I work. Because otherwise if you are going to freeze the meat like this in a pack, then you have to defrost the whole pack and then you have to freeze the ones that you're not going to use again. So for me it just works better where I defrost just this one pack and the others are not affected at all. least last but not least i also bought some spices i bought this all-purpose curry paste that i would love to try out with my curries i wonder if i shouldn't make it tonight the amina's wonder spice all-purpose curry paste and this one was 45 rand and then i bought some portuguese 11 and 1 portuguese spice because we don't have portuguese spice i bought that and that is 23 rand 
then make this garden sweet corn one kg. I'm going to put it in the freezer now. This one was um, 28 95 and then some some wraps. I sure love the wraps. He's not a fan of rice. Oh my gosh, I, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make curry with wraps tonight. So yeah, so I bought some wraps. 64 65 rand for 10 wraps. And that concludes our Fairfield Meat Center haul for the month. Like I said, a lot of these things is going to roll over into next month. So it's not to say we're going to eat all of this meat and things. I'm actually stocking up for December so that when December comes we've got enough and we don't have to go all out and spend money on a lot of food and groceries. So yeah. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this haul. Goodbye. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday night and I am just in the mood for some curry. Ever since I got my delivery today during the day from Fairfield and I got that little curry paste in my in the delivery, I, I've been craving curry. So I am going to make curry. Tonight was actually Jean's night to cook but he's running late so he's going to be home late and let me tell you guys it's 8 o'clock and I'm only starting to cook now because he only told me now that he's going to be home late and we had load shedding so I had to wait till 8 o'clock anyway so yeah I am let me just make the curry since I've been craving this curry but also just a little update as you guys know I went to the dentist and I had the tooth removed and I've been still I am still in pain Tell you guys, I'm still in pain. It's a week later since I had the tooth extracted, and I'm still in pain. If I use my, my mouth area, this area too much, like if I speak too much or if I chew, I'm always always pain afterwards. Now I don't even know if maybe I took the wrong tooth out. Maybe the pain comes from somewhere else, or I don't know if it because it's just that one big hole where the tooth was pulled out. That's really easier, but there's constantly pain. I had painkillers earlier today at like 4 o'clock and then I had now 7 o'clock again of pain and I was like let me wait it out because I don't, I hate taking painkillers but I'm forced to take painkillers now every day and I can only take the nardos now and so I have to take two and at least give me a bit of relief but yo, I've been, it's been two weeks where I've been in constant pain, two weeks. But anyway, we move, we move, we move, we move. I'm gonna make some curry because I'm in the mood for some curry. We're gonna have it with the wraps that I bought also earlier today. And I'm gonna make that. Because if I wait for Jean, if he comes on 10 o'clock tonight, then he's just going to make sausage or whatever. And I'm in the mood for curry. So come make curry with me. I've already prepared my onions. And it is eight o'clock now, so I can go ahead and I can cook now. <laughs> Load shedding is over so I can cook. So let me get my pan ready and then I'll start chopping my potatoes. daytime okay I'm gonna start chopping my potatoes and then I like to peel into eggs so that I can just throw it away To the pot and put in our onions get our onions ready 
and then we'll come back and we'll chop up the potatoes. Hey 
Hallo, hallo. Guten Tag, guten Morgen. Guten Nacht, Dagen. And it's a good Nacht, Today, this kitchen, and him standing in the way, is a mess. I have to tackle it. The dishwasher is full, the zinc is full, there's dishes standing all over, and I made curry last night, and here's my pot. So I want to show you guys, it's just soaking in some um, dishwashing liquid, and I also put some vinegar in here. And then here's the lid. Same thing, soaking in dishwashing liquid and in vinegar. So I have an AMC Classic pot that I could afford only now. I could only afford a bad pot now at this age, you know. For those who know, know that Sme uh, Smeg. Smeg is one of the things that I could also only afford now. But AMC Pots is in the colored community the holy grail of pots. You know, you would spend your entire bonus on AMC Pots and you would scrap those pots and you would display it because, you know, in the olden days you would have the, the kitchen cupboards wouldn't reach the ceiling so there will be that little spot there and you would put your pots, display your pots over there and... Um, Back then in the day, the AMC pots came with like a status, so only like the rich could afford that. And the poor had to pay it off in installments. And not that I'm saying those paying it off in installments are poor. I'm just saying it was a thing. And will it still a thing? I don't know. But there's so many other good quality pots on the market. But because this pot is so expensive, I've got one pot so far that I bought because I cannot afford to buy a whole set of pots. So I've got my pots here in the drawer and I don't want to use this pot. I don't want to make this pot dirty. I used it once and it left like the food that I made. Of course, and it happens with every pot, you know. After that first use, it left like watermarks at the bottom and I freaked out because I washed the pot and the watermarks were still there like little stains. And I freaked out because I want this pot to look exactly the way it looked before. I used it. I wanted to still look new because I only used it once. So why, you know? And then from that time on, I um, was like, yeah, I'm not going to use this pot. <laughs> I pay too much for this pot. Uh, then I went on the hunt for a decent set of pots and I looked everywhere and I found the pots that I'm using now. It looks similar to the um, AMC pot so you guys will see whenever I make a video that's also or whenever I make a stew and I record and make a video of me making the food that's always the pan that I make so it's like a casserole pan it's not like a normal pot for stew it's like a casserole stew pan and that's the one that's over there so you can see it's not high up it's, it's actually very shallow but I love it like that because that way all of the food browns or cooks evenly and it goes quicker instead of having a, a big pot where a lot of the food is sitting at the top and it's not getting that heat and you have to make sure that you are no so with this one perfect and I found this at Woolworths and yo guys I had to take a few on my account and then I had to say Jean you buy a few I'll buy a few just so that I can get it now because it was also expensive but not as expensive the AMC pots mm -mm, not that expensive but it was also expensive this one was like maybe like 1500 a pot now of course you want like a whole set you want a pot for stew and you want a pot like a deep pot and you want a pan and and so it obviously if you buy a lot of these pots it can come to five six seven thousand so I'm like take a few of my account I'll buy one Jean buy one and that's how we get and that's how I bought these pots it's similar to the AMC pot and it works just as well. So I, this is the pot that I use on a regular basis. But again, I need to ensure that this pot is cleaned properly. And still needs to look like new. So I have a specific way of cleaning it. And there are certain things that I use to clean it. As you guys can see, it's just soaking now. So washing this pot in just with hot water and soap doesn't work. It cleans the pot, yes. But it leaves those little residue spots behind on the on the, on the so I have a specific way of cleaning my pots with vinegar and bicarbonate and I'm going to show you guys how the before and after of how I wash my pot. So 
hopefully maybe you guys can you know use it as a tip but i prefer to have my pots clean i tried to clean my all the pots you know the pots that i had from the flats time i tried to clean because they also they're like crusty dusty musty like since you can't get out so i try to clean them also with my carbonate and um, vinegar white vinegar didn't work i tried everything those spots are like those those stains are set and that's when i realized i cannot let the stains set i shouldn't let it sit for sit for too long so if i wash the pot today or if i use the pot today Immediately after when I wash it, I need to go in with the vinegar and my carbonate. I cannot wait for three, four, five washes and then want to go in to, to remove those stains because then the stains have time to sit and to penetrate and to, you know, no. So you wash it immediately. And I'm going to show you guys, but at the same time, I also need to organize this kitchen. When we are done, I'm going to get me some breakfast because a lot of you guys saw in yesterday's video, we had our... Um, meat delivered from fairfield and i packaged it nicely and i bought from the beef um bologna is it beef bologna beef something something and i haven't had that in a long time and then yesterday i thought okay let me make that for lunch you know a sandwich with that and mayonnaise and then we didn't have bread so jean bought bread last night and so now we have bread so now i can have it for breakfast today cloth i don't know if you guys can see on camera it is so so dirty i must wash this cloth so as soon as i'm done with the kitchen i'm gonna just soak this cloth in some cheek i don't know how this cloth gets so dirty like how but anyway so what i normally do is when i take the stuff out of the dishwasher i give it another wipe with this cloth because sometimes there's still little droplets of water on the dishes when it comes out and so just ensure that it is properly clean and dry I go in with that and I start at the bottom drawer first. Okay, so this is dishes from like I don't know, even a Sunday of the weekend that I'm only taking out now because I wait for the dishes to pile up so there's enough for a load and then I run a load. <coughs> Okay, so let me start with this drawer first and then I move on to the second drawer over there and then I go on to the cutlery. That way you don't run the risk of stuff in the second drawer dripping onto the stuff in the first drawer.
Okay, so I just finished packing the dishwasher. I'm not gonna run a cycle now because the dishwasher is still empty like that. You can still put in a lot. So that's what I do. I'll wait for it to fill up and then I run a cycle. So I'm not gonna run a cycle now because there's not a lot of dishes. But I am going to finish my pots now because I'm getting hungry and I want to eat my lunch. Okay, so like I said, in here it's just soapy water. Just water with dishwashing liquid and then I threw in little bits of white vinegar in there as well. I'm just going to give this a wipe and then I'm going to throw out the water. I usually wash with this thingy. I put this on sheen because it's not so washed on the pots. Throw it out a little bit of water just so that I have some water to work with and then I just do it in circles clean most clean the pot like I'm like I normally would scrub a pot this is what I'm doing I'm cleaning the entire pot always a mess on the counter when I wash this pot always the inside here is a for away just double check I just go over the same with a brush. This is what the pot looks like now. Right? I'm gonna rinse it. Then I'm gonna give you guys a close up of what it looks like because on the camera it doesn't look like like it's dirty or you don't see those watermarks, you have to really go close up. Okay, just hot water. I don't know if you guys can see, but I can already see as the pot is drying by the heat of it, I can see those scuff marks, those little, I don't know what to call it. Um, do you see there on the side there? You see that? Wow, well, that is stopping the pot from shining. And then over there as well. can see it <laughs> but I can see it so clearly with my eyes like it stands out for me I can definitely see it like there you go there you see what I'm talking about it's like a it's not a scuff mark it's like an oil mark or oil base or a something something like a layer that is sitting on top of the pot that is stopping the pot from shining there's something on this pot here that I'm noticing that I don't like I'm noticing now for the first time so I'm wondering if I shouldn't go over with the vinegar on the sides and look down. I don't only do the sides I only do the inside but this one something looks weird so we're gonna do inside and out today I've got my white vinegar and I've got my bicarbonate of soda okay I'm going to firstly go in with my bicarbonate then with a little bit of vinegar to make a paste then with the paste I'm going to rub around the pot. There's my bicarbonate. It is in. I'm going to go in with a little bit of vinegar. That should be enough. And now we've got a paste. If the paste is too watery, if you've added too much of the vinegar, like I think I've added too much if you've added too much of the vinegar, yes, I think I've added too much. You can just go in and add more of the bicarbonate. Okay? So. There you go. Now you've got a nice thick paste. And you're just going to wrap this around the pan. Like you're using this to scrub the pan, and you're gonna do it here as well. 
sometimes my fingers are get so and lazy then I just use my knuckles to go around the pen. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Spots here on the outside of the pot that I also want to tackle now. You see those spots there? So I want to get rid of those spots, look like those spots. It's not coming out much of the washing the pot, so we're gonna use the same. What looks like now it doesn't have that form that it had earlier it's nice and shining but it's not it can shine even more and I'll show you guys now the difference all I do is I take a little bit of vinegar at the end and I throw a little bit in almost like just to coat it like that and then I just make sure that the vinegar touches all of the pots all of the sides at the bottom touches the sides and then I take this and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to wipe it there you go the pot is clean looking like a new pot that doesn't have that foam that oil Foam, I don't even know what to call it. That layer of oil doesn't have that. The outside is also nice and clean. It doesn't have... I've also buffed off the, the rust that I saw. The vinegar took it off very nicely. I'm very sorry you guys are new. Um, we're not here for the rusting. Okay, but that's the pot. Pot is done. I'm just going to do the lid and then it can be packed away. <laughs> The spiced beef is frozen, so now I can't make it. I actually prepared my sandwich and everything, and then I realized this is frozen, so I'm gonna have to wait for this to defrost. So, for lunch, I'm just going to make what was left over from last night. Things has been kind of fun. Look, there's a bruise right here. One or a few on there. Man, did you see me though? Cause the short foot on the show. of last night was tops it was oh it's so nice the only thing is because I'm still recovering from the tooth extraction there's a hole there so when food goes into that hole it acts it cleans now imagine Kali don't mix that hole oh I was sitting and enjoying this curry so much on the one side but on the other end I was sitting like I'm gonna go in again. Mmm, nice. Mm. Like that. I was eating the curry like that. So I don't know how it's gonna go down now, but it's so nice. 
like I didn't want to stop eating. The reason why I stopped eating is because I couldn't take the pain anymore. Because the curry was kind of making this hole. Remember the hole is open and raw. So curry don't even, I don't even want to think about this. Because the curry is too nice so I'm not even going to think about it. So, mm. You cannot tell me this. Imagine this with rice. It's just I didn't make rice. I might make curry again. Don't <laughs> be like that. But oh, that sauce, that flavor, that everything is there. I'm gonna make it again, but next time with rice. I don't have rice now, so I've just got this wrap, and then I'm gonna have this drink. Good day. Oh, wait, and let me go down with light. Okay. Yeah. You go, I think it's much better. Hi, good day. It's another day, another vlog, another now. Looking crusty. Look at me. Where can I put you guys? Oh, still so. Yeah, okay. Let me put you here. Right. So I just need someone to uh, sponsor me a proper um, camera tripod, like a, a big one. Or, or the small one. The small one is also fun. But not the Chinese shop one. Because I've had three of those and it keeps on breaking. My camera is too heavy for that. And Jean bought me like last week one at the Chinese shop. And within a few days I could like... As the day, like day one something fell down. Day two something fell down. And then day three is just completely broke. So now I need another tripod because... To give you guys the, the shots and the movement and the angles and the from the top going down and from the sides coming in and you know but okay anyway so last night I edited the May vlog that is already live on my channel right now and I was looking at me in May versus me in October this is May June July August September it's like five months ago. Why am I, why, if I'm looking at my October, recent October vlogs, right? Do I look so crusty? I look like a homeless person. Look here, with the cap on and the hair. And you can see the gray hair sticking out. Oh, I need to dye my hair. And I'm just looking, and in and, and every vlog, I, 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 there's no effort, there's no, there's no makeup, hair's done, but not really done, and I've always got like oversized t-shirts on, and tracksuit pants, and, and in the May vlog, like the day when we went out for my birthday, I looked so nice with the makeup that I did, and the curls was in, and when we went to the um, Backstreet Boys concert, I also put some makeup on, and and, and I feel I've also gained a lot of weight since then. Like because like double chin and stomach and boobs and everything is just overweight now. And I was like, I need that girl. Where's that girl? That Michael? I wonder. Because I almost didn't recognize myself. Like, I'm like, huh? That was it now, me. I look like that now, me. Why am I looking like this now? Five months later. Guys, I need to... I need to watch my weight. I'm gaining a lot of weight fast and I know why. Yeah? So if, if I know why, of course I know how to fix the problem, right? So I know why, so we're gonna fix the problem. Um, I'm not gonna go on diets and stuff. I'm just gonna start eating healthy and eating a balanced diet so that whatever goes in comes out. That's where the problem is not coming out. It's stuck in the middle. So I just need to, to ensure you know, that, that there's a processed flow that comes in and it goes out and that way, you know, I'm not gonna gain weight. Anyway, anyway, that's me rambling. Um, I show you, I look sick now. I still am sick this, I'm still sore. I wish I could show you guys the whole, the whole, the size of Kimberly. Um, I need to do my washing today. I haven't done washing in like two weeks, maybe three. I've got a lot of washing to do that I need to do today. But here's the problem. And that's why we 
are going to get a fix to the problem. You know, wherever there's a problem and you know what the problem is, you always need to get a fix. So I'm coming into the garage because this is where we keep our um, washing machine and tumble dryer. Did we have a load shedding today? Why is the inverter charging? Anyway, washing machine over here, that one. Tumble dryer, right? But here's, the, here's where the problem comes in. Number one, look at the floor. Now this is so fun. This is so what you guys won't see what I'm seeing with me. Whenever Jean uses this section, whenever he does washing, there's always nonsense. Stuff is laying on the floor. And I've, I've got OCD man. You see that? So I can't I can't deal with this. Issue number two. Jean got up this morning, he decided, hey, it's a perfect day to clog the washing machine. And with clog I mean, it's like, let me throw my clothes in. See? Jean's clothes. Now, this is clothes that's been washed. So, it's now going to stay there for the rest of the day or until he remembers that the clothes is in there. Now, the now comes. Now comes like, yeah, I'm going to do some washing today. Today is the day. I only do washing once every two weeks. So today I'm going to take time out to actually do my washing. And by the end of today, my washing is going to be done. So come, let's do the washing with me. And then Rana walks to the washing machine. And Rana is like, okay, so let me get the washing machine ready. No, I can't, I can't. I must now first take this wet clothes out and put it somewhere. And you know, I'm going to put it somewhere. Because now, I'm not going to block the tumble dryer. No, because this person responsible for this is supposed to be responsible. The person responsible for whatever is in here needs to be responsible for getting it dry as well. This happens every time. Every time. Every time. Now, I only do washing once every two weeks, but that day when I want to do washing, then this happens. So I take this one, I'm going to throw it wherever. And then I'm going to go on with my life and I'm going to do my washing. And that's why <clears throat> oh, we're going to buy two in one. A washing machine and a double dryer and a dryer in one. And we're going to put it here along with the built-in cupboards. So that we don't have this problem of me hogging someone else's supplies and now Making it inconvenient for the next person who wants to use the washing machine. You understand? I'm always the one being inconvenienced because when I'm done doing my washing, then there's nothing left in the appliances. The washing machine is empty, tumble dry is empty and ready for the next person to use. But the next person don't think of me. So I'm not going to think of him. I'm going to put his pile of clothes somewhere and he can sort it out himself. <laughs> so you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong Go put up the fight mm -hmm. The way I do, the way I do will knock you down You know there's a motion between us Don't, don't cry about it, don't, don't cry about it You want me to take you in my trust Because, yeah. Okay, so that is that bundle is also on a different chain waiting for that man to sort out his washing. Okay, so it's good. I can put my clothes in now. Keep on keeping on every night. Way up in the clouds. The way I do, the way I do will knock you down.
in the Kasongo household this morning. Everything is a mess, you know? When mommy don't take charge of things, then things just go wrong. That is what's happening today. Um, like, literally, um, John is in charge of the, the lunch, so he's gonna have to make sure we get lunch on time today. I literally took out the meat, defrosted it for him. It's just like me. See where he is, busy outside, fixing cars. This is what we're gonna eat today. Voila! Nice, eh? Yeah, looks delicious. <coughs> it's always one o'clock. But yeah, and this is this is how things are going on a Sunday morning in the Kasongo household. There's the other one laying. Also, don't rush to cook last night. Then you bought the fish and chips, so that's where the money went to that you were gonna pay her. Now come. You must cut up onions. I must pay you 100 rand. I'm gonna pay you 100 rand. I found 100 rand, 200 rand in this pocket that was just standing there waiting for something. Otherwise, right, things are never gonna happen in the castle grounds all through this morning. We're gonna eat tonight at 5 o'clock. No, no, and then we're going to eat meat here. Yeah? The then we're gonna eat the meat marinated in engine. Where's the, the oil to fill up that because there's no yeah, oil Yeah, you see that? It's going to use the oil for the corn, put it in the pot now. Ah, nah. Chaos, chaos all around us. How yeah, things are going in the Kasungo household this morning. Chaos, um, chaos. We're using car oil now and putting it in the pots and we're taking empty pots and putting it and thinking it's meat and putting it in pots and we don't even actually know what we're making. It's just so one so, what are we making? Uh, lamb curry. Lamb curry? No, no, no. You cannot do it. We're making lamb. What is this? No, it's just that is lamb. Stew. So, stew curry is the same thing. It's just a different spice. Where does the chicken fit in? Chicken you roast in the oven. Okay. You can maybe make like a sweet chicken with chutney and mayonnaise or something. Yes, it's my supper. But most important, veggies. What are we having for veggies? There's butternut in the freezer. We roast it also. We can roast that. Okay. But else, I need to eat veggies here, people. We need to eat healthy now. Yeah, there we go. So we can have butternut and squash. We've oh, got yes. lekker squash. 
and then but when you make your basket did they cut the spices up? no first cut the okay first we put your onion because that's what's going to go in first and while that because you must have put in your oil wait for that to warm so and what i also want to ask for my request is can you please put mixed veg into the stew that's another form of veggie okay stop stop first it's on zero. Oh, and things are heating up in the kitchen. And daddy and daughter is at it today. <laughs> they have exactly an hour before lunch time and scrunch time. And this one is going to be for Where oil. Is, the, <laughs> is it this oil you're using? No. Is there no olive oil? I don't see no olive oil. Okay, then just go for that one if we don't have. Didn't we buy olive oil? I'm sure we did, but it's supposed to go to Mecca today. Yeah, we didn't. Let's go for that one. Just we must not yeah, just eat no, the onion. Yeah, now we can't work here, but it's trying to chop up the onion. It's just in a dark So I'll just way. use it's this. Just for now, yeah. yeah. Uh, and John is not finding the oil to put into the pan. And it's crunch time. And it's heating up in the kitchen. The tin oh, fell is high. They're not communicating. You must communicate with each other what's going on. If, if then you must cut the potatoes and, and the master chef must communicate with the shoe chef to tell her then what must, else must she do to keep the engine going. What are we making? Oh, did you guys just not you agree? Just <laughs> cut the hey, and things are going wrong in the Kasongo kitchen today. My so my things are going everywhere. And all of that stuff. What is that? Oh, oh yes. yeah, no, guys. Oh, yes. yeah, now what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are you doing in the kitchen? Uh, Hi. You're going to spice the kitchen. The <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's spice it up in the kitchen. Let's spice in the kitchen. Spice the kitchen. Spice it now. I'll spice it now also. They said you must make sweet chicken. But the chicken comes no, quick. Not. So prepare the small things like uh, the potatoes and the small things. No. While the pot is on, the chicken goes in. So when the pot is done, the chicken is done. That's how you, you do things. But you have to do the preparations first. That the takes the longest. <laughs> and you must still get the squashes pots. The you squashes pot is where the other pots are. There's no other like... Okay. Yay, yay! People are confused, eh? This is what happened when mommy's not in charge of the things go like this. <laughs> Ooh, ah, ah, the shoe chef. I don't know who's the shoe chef and who's the main chef anymore, yeah? Who's the main chef? I'm the main chef. Oh, the main chef. Okay, so shoe chef, you got a, you got an instruction from the from the main chef to tell you what to do? Yes, what do I That's why things are going wrong. What? You don't cut that inside there. You must chop it up finely. Now. Where are you going with those onions? Tomato. Okay. Chef John is ready. He's starting his pot and he's putting in his onions. Wow. Nice big chunks of onions that we left. It's gonna break away. Okay. Pot of the plant. Pot of the plant. What are you putting in, Chef? Curry powder. Curry powder. Okay. So we're making curry today? We're making lamb stew. Lamb curry? Yes. Okay. Can I give you some tips? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. You said I must cook, so I'm the one cooking. I'm cooking my side. Okay. But you must put in from the other spices, also the old spices, eh? So you I must put, put in cardamom pot Thank you, my love. Cardamom pot, bay leaf, cinnamon sticks. Wait, that I'm stuff must go in first before you put your spices in. Cook. So how does this stuff come you up? You take off the... I'm a sous chef, so I don't know what to do. Yes, a sous chef knows more, I think. Look, something smells nice already, huh? It's just the way I think. <laughs> Not in bottle, but... Is it? Did you put chili flakes in? No. You want some? No? Yes? No. I didn't cook up the chili flakes. Why? So you did put chili flakes in? I didn't. 
Well, I just left it there. We have no one to pick it up. Yes, why This cloth. Now, now so we are intercepting the pot, Sean. Stepped out, we are intercepting. We took like half of the meat in the other half is still outside the pot. I'm going to bed. And then there's no garlic in the other one. Just have to cook it before the daddy comes. We just have to cook it, fix the spot before he comes. What? 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 John, but he's cutting up the leaves. But Leah, that is now still asking questions. The chat is enough, enough, my love. You must don't forget the sugar. Sugar also goes in there. Look at the curry powder. And yeah, things have calmed down a little bit. I think we are moving somewhere. Oh, and the chicken is in the oven. I would say. We were good together I would say we had fun But our trails will never run forever Of course, too, and we are eventually done. Not we, the chefs are eventually done. We're gonna cook now. There, the chef is just warming up his um, his roti. And yeah, that's what we have on the menu. We got Leah there on the menu for you. The shoe chef, okay. We've got some curry, with lamb curry with potato and mealy. And then over here. Got some sweet chicken right in the oven. Compliments of Chef Leah. And then we've got some rice. And we've got some butternut over here. And then we've got some squash. Been a long time waiting eh, for this moment. Very, very long. You guys, yo. We're also gonna go to the beach. <laughs> we'll see if we get there. It's only if I'll see you if we get there. Oh, so so you can't promise, you can't make any promise on the camera. I said I'll see, I didn't say we are, I said I'll see, so it's not a promise, it's a maybe. Okay. Ruti. There's one of these ruti. We're gonna eat. Check you guys on the flip side. Like everything that's good in life always come to an end. 